All right, let's talk about some of those physical access controls. There's a lot of them, and we're just going to go over some of the basics. Some you may be familiar with, some you may not be as familiar with. First off, fences. Well, a fence is nothing more than a perimeter barrier. It marks the difference between outside and inside. Now, you can create multiple fences, fences within a fence, but basically a single fence just says that the outside stops here and inside the fence is a secured area. The height of a fence dictates its effectiveness against various attackers. So you decide what you're trying to do with a fence and then decide on the appropriate height. The short fences, three to four foot high fences, will deter casual trespassers. You just do that to stay, basically state casually that you know, this is our property, don't jump over the fence. It's not going to stop anybody who really wants to get in. A five to seven foot high fence will deter more serious intruders because it's tougher to climb. It takes more effort and it's harder to climb without anyone noticing you. And then if you get a fence that's over eight feet high, especially those with three strand barbed wire on the top, the razor wire, that's going to pretty much deter the most determined intruders. In fact, if you look at some of the high security fences around prisons and jails, that's what they have. They have 10 to 12 foot high fences and they've got the strands of the razor wire. And the idea is they're trying to keep very determined people from getting over that fence. It takes a lot of guts to climb a fence like that. 